Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and I would like to welcome back Lisa Gibellario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network and coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. This week, we're talking about the transition from summer to back to school, and Lisa has some guidance for parents. So welcome back, Lisa. What can you tell us? And more, more importantly, what can parents expect to see from their kids in coming weeks? Thank you, Mike. It's great to see you again. Great to be here. Um, so yeah, I would say that as you as you framed it, it is a big transition here in Belmont and across New England as families, um, you know, leave the summer schedule and adjust to the back to school schedule. I would say the number one thing for parents to expect is exhaustion. This kind of an adjustment is um, really wearying on children. So expect them to be more tired, expect some irritability as a result of that. Um, there could be some social anxiety as they adjust back to seeing kids they haven't seen for 10 weeks. So overall, um, they will be a little stressed out. So I, I would say expect that. This is a major transition, not only for our children, though, many parents are starting to return to the office for the first time in 18 months. So again, it, it could be a bumpy month um, and just be, you know, be prepared for that. So it's, you know, managing transitions are, are tough, but how can parents best support their kids during this transition? I would say to check in with your kids frequently, um, set up a time to do it. Just don't expect you know, that it can happen on the fly. Be purposeful about checking in with your children. Ask them how it's going. Listen to their responses, listen to their concerns and validate those concerns. And by validate, we mean just take them in, try to understand them, ask some follow-up questions um, and, and ask specifically, how can I be of help to you right now? You know, maybe, maybe they need some support with homework. Maybe they have too many activities and you can make some adjustments. So be really specific about asking how you can help. Another thing, Mike, that we know to be true with kids is that they, they thrive with structure. So establish some routines, you know, certain bedtimes, wake up time, meal time, um, and assure your kids that while the next few weeks may be a little rough, it is an adjustment and as such, it will get better with time. And finally, I'd say Mike, is it's really important to have other adults um, have a role in your children's lives, in checking in with them. So maybe there's a neighbor who cares about your kids, you know, ask them to check in, ask an, a favorite aunt or uncle, maybe to send an email or a text or pick up the phone. It's really important for kids to have more than just their parents checking in. All right, anything else to add, Lisa? Uh, well, just to say that we are still in the middle of a pandemic and that is stressful for families as well. Kids are going to be wearing masks all day. Teachers may be a little stressed and may have uh, to ride the adjustment curve of their own. Uh, we have a beautiful new high school and that's gonna take some time to adjust to getting there and getting out of there in traffic patterns. So. Take it slowly, allow um, yourself some time this month to get used to the new routine and give yourself uh, a break on the weekends. I would say keep weekends as unscheduled as you possibly can so that everybody can recharge over the weekend doing whatever that means. Maybe it's more time in nature, maybe it's reading or family movie or just something really relaxing so that um, you know kids start off again on Monday feeling a bit refreshed. All right, Lisa, that's very helpful. We'll talk with you again next time. Thanks, Mike. We've been talking with Lisa Gibellario about managing the transition from summer to school. I'm Mike Crowley, and I'll see you next time.